everybody it's your favorite girl Nia Imani back with another video okay I'm giving you all this moist defined not moist moisturized defined voluminous fluffy and just bomb twist out for the fall specifically for the fall and I'm also going to be sharing five reasons why your hair is not growing this is something that people ask for, of me all the time I feel like I'm the queen of retaining length okay you know this my hair is growing has grown tremendously after i cut off about 12 14 inches back in 2016 um and then i cut off some more color well the rest of my color that i did have from my hair back in at, back at the end of 2018 so now my hair is honestly back on the its way to waist length slash tail length so i want to give you all five reasons why your hair isn't growing um i know these these reasons to be true Oftentimes genetics does play a huge role into why our hair grows the way it grows, but I believe in retaining length and I believe in the power of retaining length and I believe in the power of keeping your kinky hair moisturized. Thank you so much Curls for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate you all. These products were super, 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 super bomb. Um, and honestly, enough of the chit chat. Let's get into the tutorial. What's up y'all? Okay, so my scalp is so dry i don't think y'all can even really see right now like i use some um gel and like there you go you see all this build up on my scalp no <laughs> no no and no all right so first order of business my hair i did it last week but i've been putting product on it and now my scalp has a lot a lot a lot of product build up and honestly, that's why we're segueing into reason number one. Honestly, don't pull your hair like that. But reason number one, why your hair isn't growing. So when you put so many products on your scalp and you just keep putting it on your scalp and you got all this gunk and these flakes all on your hair, that's making it very hard for your hair to be healthy, to be clean, and to honestly operate the way that it's supposed to. So right now what I'm about to do while I chat with you guys about why scalp buildup is honestly hindering you from your hair growth um, i'm about to do a hot oil treatment curls they have a blueberry and mint tea scalp treatment y'all it smells amazing it tingles and it's fire so it's formulated with certified organic blueberry seed oil um corn mint as well as coconut oil and it's proven to soothe soothing and refresh dry itchy scalp and relieve itching and prevent breakage and encourage hair growth okay so I have a few different um, hot oil treatment videos on my channel, but pretty much the importance of a hot oil treatment is to, um, one, remove the scalp buildup, um, as well as two, massage your scalp, as to promote growth so that your hair can grow. Typically, um, African-American individuals, people with who are from the diaspora who have curly, kinky hair, we don't need to wash our hair weekly you know or no i won't say weekly but every day that's not necessarily it's we don't need to do that you know um so what we do need to understand is that what we need to do is practice you know sensible hygiene when it comes to washing your hair to make way and make a clean scalp a, he a healthy scalp is a clean scalp and a healthy clean scalp is going to allow growth and is going to create an, an encouraging environment for your hair to grow so when you're using a lot of products and you know you're putting edge control on your edges every day and it's all this product and it's flaking that's not allowing your scalp to be it's not an environment that's encouraging growth if you do that for three weeks and you haven't washed your hair you know for me i wash my hair at least I would say every two weeks, once a week, or just try to find some type of way to cleanse my hair. I washed my hair last week, so it's been, well no, I've washed my hair in two weeks. For me, your scalp, it naturally produces sebum, and sebum is like a natural oil that your skin as well as your hair produces. So if you produce too much sebum, for me, I had a lot of acne um, when I was younger because I wasn't washing my hair every two weeks. I was washing my hair maybe every two to three weeks, and pretty much what that did, that was extra oil that my scalp was producing and it was pretty much falling on my face, my neck, my back and causing acne. You see how, you know, me not washing my hair and understanding my hair and its needs caused a whole nother issue on my body. So for me, what I realized what works best for me is my to wash my hair every week or every two weeks opposed to every two to three weeks because at that point there's a tremendous amount of product buildup and there's also 
my body's trying to overcompensate and it's producing so much oil now that it's it's going to start to cause um additional issues um with black hair typically because our hair um is on the drier spectrum or it can be it can be seen as drier hair you want to make sure that you're not using stripping agents when it comes to your shampoos and drying products um like sulfates when you're washing washing as well as cleansing your hair but honestly i would say you know doing hot oil treatments the oil it's promoting growth, but it's also a pre-cleanse. So for me, that is rule number one, why your hair isn't growing, or one reason why your hair isn't growing, because your scalp is just, sis, it's, <laughs> it's too much on your scalp, so don't, don't do that. Hey, so I'm recording live from the shower, and right now I am using Curls their hair bath and i really 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 love this shampoo it does have activated charcoal which is really great for detoxifying as well as clear clarifying and purifying the scalp it's a, a sulfate free shampoo and it also has aloe juice so it does help detangle like you really can detangle with the shampoo but it also leaves the hair feeling soft and moisturized instead of stripped after shampoo what's up y'all so i just recently got out the shower and my mic wasn't on but i already i was trying to tell you guys what's number two or rule number two as to why your hair is not growing and your hair is not growing because your hair is thirsty she is thirstier than a justin bieber you know fan stand in 2012 she is thirsty <laughs> okay so black african-american african kinky textured natural curly all of that hair is prone to being dry okay it's prone to being dry and when you have dry hair it is prone to breakage if you are only moisturizing your hair and you saying you wear wash it goes you only what moisturize your hair or put some type of hydration or water on your hair maybe every three weeks and that's it your hair is literally screaming like it needs to be moisturized you know like just like you need to drink water your hair needs water it needs to have moisturizing products to make sure that it does not dry out and i have a few different videos on my channel where i discuss these topics more so in depth especially when it comes to porosity I hope they find them <laughs> when it comes to porosity um that's definitely important to understand especially so you know what type of products work best for your hair so definitely check out that video up there um but yeah your hair is dry as hell like that's all i can say <laughs> so it's very very important that you are um deep conditioning your hair and that's especially that's what i'm doing right now i deep condition my hair every single time that i wash my hair and i've been doing that my entire life that's what my mother has always taught me um i do balance between um, moisture rich deep conditioners as well as protein rich deep conditioners and if you guys want me to make a video all about deep conditioners i could do so but today i'm going to be using curls the cashmere and caviar collection this is their hair mask specifically for kinky textured hair so for me like i said i always deep condition and specifically in the winter time i like to use thicker heavier creamier deep conditioners especially when it comes to my hair because my hair can be prone to dryness but my hair never has really experienced breakage because i ensure that i moisturize my hair in every single step of the way when it comes to my hair process so some of the important factors when it comes to deep conditioning your hair is going to make sure that it restores the moisture in your hair especially when you are shampooing um some people do use sulfates i don't necessarily use sulfates unless i really 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 need to strip my hair to the point where it's like squeaky 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 clean um but once you have you know done that shampoo process and then you have decided to continue to you know do your hair before you actually begin to style it you want to make sure that you deep, deep condition your hair to restore that moisture restore that balance and those nutrients back into your hair deep conditioning also keeps your hair soft it keeps your hair manageable and it makes the process for me de for to detangle way easier it does help prevent damage um especially when it comes to environmental elements but it might also help you know to prevent damage if you are heat styling or if you are coloring your hair you want to definitely make sure that you're taking the necessary steps to prevent damage because our hair can be prone to just being <laughs> broken broken off deep conditioning just helps to um, promote elasticity within your hair and that is your hair's ability to bounce back like you all have seen a lot of times people um who are transitioning or whose hair has been damaged their hair and elasticity is gone and it doesn't curl or coil anymore it's just straight that's not elastic hair your hair is elasticity is it being coily and that's why we say that shrinkage is literally that's like a natural sign for your hair so that is important that you um keep your hair coily and kinky and curly so right now i'm going to be deep conditioning my hair with um the caviar cashmere collection and then i'm going to be using my q redo um for steam 
if you don't have steam like a steamer that's fine i will leave um the link to, to purchase one of these in the um description box below but if you don't have this another way that i get my hair steamed i will deep condition it in the shower put on my plastic cap and then close the door and it gets hella steamy in the shower and that's another way that you can steam your hair you can set it to the dryer or you can use your body heat to steam your hair just by like wrapping multiple t-shirts and towels upon your head with the plastic shower cap and that's another way to further penetrate the moisture into your hair especially in the colder winter months because the air is super brittle or super brutal to natural hair especially when it's cold and if you live in a very very cold environment you definitely want to make sure that you're taking extra care of your hair to, so that it is moisturized so that's why i steam i need my hair to be hella moisturized Okay, so I just got out the shower and my hair feels so soft. It feels so defined. Why didn't you get out the shower? Why would I ever lie like that? I just rinsed my hair in the um, sink and my hair feels so soft, defined, moisturized. That's why you deep condition every time, okay? That is why. That is why. All right, so I let my hair sit in my microfiber towel. That's another reason why your hair won't grow because you use cotton towels and harsh you know products on your hair just rubbing up on it all that friction is too harsh on the hair so i use either t-shirts like old t-shirts i'll just you know so a nice soft cotton t-shirt or microfiber towel um i let it sit in the microfiber towel to stop up all the water because right now i'm about to do a twist out and i didn't want my hair to be super wet because it takes so long for my hair to dry so i'm just about to section off my hair um and we're gonna do this flat twist thing that's what we're gonna do so today to start my hair i'm gonna be using two products by curls i'm going to be using the blueberry bliss twist and shout cream and i'm going to be pairing it with the blueberry bliss curl control jelly so the twist and shout cream this is my first time actually using it but it has a very nice consistency it has some move to movement to it it's not super thick but it is creamy enough um to get the job done that's another important thing when you are using um, products on your hair you want to make sure that they're creamy you want to make sure they actually have good ingredients in them to nourish and moisturize your hair but you also want to make sure they kind of have weight depending on your hair type to keep your hair moisturized and to keep your hair from being dry i did just recently watch this um twist out tutorial i have a lot of flat twist out tutorials but i really liked her technique she reverted her hair from an old wash and go she said she just spritzed one little piece of water on the hair and that was it <laughs> she used a cream i think and a gel and her results were really really nice i'm probably gonna use a little bit more water on my hair my hair is is pretty damp but I'm probably gonna get it just a little bit more saturated that's just my personal preference but I would definitely check out that tutorial because it's it's fire okay so before I get into my next tip as to why your hair isn't growing I'm gonna just show those out there who don't know how to flat twist um, how to flat twist so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the water on my hair to dampen it up a little bit I like to make sure that my parts are um, pretty straight Personally, just because I hate when I have a piece of hair from over here and I'm trying to take out the twist and um, it just stops the twist up. I just don't, that's just, I don't like that. So I like to make sure that my hair um, is pretty neat when it comes to the parts that I do when it comes to my hair. Alrighty. So I'm going to be taking a little bit. Ooh, it's so nice and airy and whipped. I'm gonna take about this much of the twist and shout cream. And this is another example of making sure that you're using moisturizing products on your hair especially before you um are going to apply a gel it's so imperative that you make sure that you use a good leave-in a good base because a lot of times gels have alcohols in it not necessarily alcohols that are so drying to the hair some do depending on what products you use but anything like a gel a mousse those things could be 
drying. So you want to ensure, or flaky. So you want to ensure that you are going to use um, a cream, a butter, a gel, not a gel, a cream of butter, a leave-in conditioner, some type of moisture barrier from the actual styling agent in your hair. So now I'm gonna go in with the Curl Control Jelly. And these products smell so good. And the gel is pretty lightweight, so I definitely think this is gonna be a bomb combo for this twist out. All right, so with the twist, this is how I typically do it. I part from the beginning or from the top of the hair. I split that into two. I make sure like both parts have equal amount of hair. I cannot braid to save my life. I don't know about y'all. All right. So now that I have the hair sturdy in my hand, take those two pieces, take this index finger, And you begin to just keep picking up hair as you go. You tangle your ends. And keep those two strands, you know, separate because you don't want to like you don't want hair from over on this side to cross over. So when you're taking out your hair, it's not going to be a seamless um, transition. Or your hair starts to separate and it just causes too much frizz. So just keeping that separation of the two strands will make sure that when it's time to take the hair down, you're good. When I get to the end, I'm just gonna finger coil it. And that is a flat twist. Alrighty, so another reason that your hair is not growing, I believe this is number three, is because you're wearing hella high tension styles or styles that can honestly lead to traction alopecia, which is basically when your edges start going missing because you wanna wear these tight box braids or you wanna wear your hair in these tight ponytails every single day that can cause a lot of stress onto your hair. Um, I know a lot of people, especially in high school, I don't know why high school was just like the time to wear ponytails, but they were wearing very tight ponytails every single day, right? We'll sleep in these ponytails, wake up, new ponytail, and the middle of their hair would start breaking off. It was because the hair, it was too tight. You know, you your hair, you need to take care of your hair. Like you need to treat it with caution when you detangle your hair, you need to be soft to it. You don't need to just be raking through your hair. You know, that's why they say start from the, the, the ends of your hair, move up the shaft. Um, but yeah, high tension styles. If it's too tight and your hair is hurting for like more than a week, it's more than likely that it's too, it's time to come out because it's not conducive. A lot of people get um, confused with protective styles. Um, being healthy styles, they can be, depending on how the stylist did the hair. Um, if your hair, like I said, if it's too tight and you're wearing them for a very long time, a long period of time, that's going to hinder your hair from growing because it honestly has no space to flourish. So I would definitely suggest to limit that or if you do wear buns a lot, like I wear a lot of buns, but, and they usually be tight, but I ensure that when I'm doing so, that at nighttime I take it down. Or, you know, when I'm not wearing it, my hair is free and it's, you know, just flowing because you want to make sure that your hair just has time to be. Like, that's so, so important. I think a lot of people want their hair to grow so bad that they do too much to the hair. That's another reason I would say that your hair isn't growing, but I'm gonna just keep it within the same one. Um, Y'all do a lot, you know, you have to just let your hair be sometimes. Trying to do your hair every single day, like manipulate your hair every single day. Your hair doesn't need to, it doesn't want to be bothered every single day. Like for me, when I do this twist out after I'm done, that's it <laughs> for another two, three to four days. You can't, you wouldn't catch me doing a wash and go every single day, washing my hair, stripping out its natural oils, and then, you know, doing another style, pulling and tugging on my roots. That's gonna like kind of, that's irritating your hair. So it's not healthy for you to be manipulating your hair so often.
right, so now I'm just about to take these twists out. I guess I'll start from the front. You always want to start from the bottom and then begin to unravel. And because we kept our hair separate while we were twisting and, you know, did our best not to get the hair tangled up, it's going to be a very easy process when we take them out. And it's not going to be like hair over here trying to be over there. Hey y'all, so a clip did delete um, before this actual clip and pretty much what I did, I took the um, blueberry and mint tea scalp oil in the treatment and I placed it all throughout my scalp. I massaged it in and then I did take a generous amount of the oil and I massaged it into my hands and I massaged it all throughout these twists from root to tip. It's essential that when you're taking out your twist, you use an oil to reduce frizz as well as keep that moisture in. So I just wanted to make sure that you all knew that that's an important step when it comes to taking out your twist, reducing frizz, but most importantly, keeping that moisture in for days to come while you wear this style. So I'm not sure what number we are on as to why your hair isn't grown, but I will definitely say an excessive amount of heat tools causes your hair not to grow. So. Some people can argue me with this one and that's completely fine and I would definitely understand it because even when I was straightening my hair, my hair was, it was rather healthy, honestly. But what I was what I was doing when my hair was um, heat trained or when I was wearing it in, this, in a straight state, I wasn't putting heat on it every day. Some people think that it's important for them to like press out their leave out every single day or press their hair every day. Heat, heat, heat every single day. Too much of anything can be a bad thing. So too much water can be a bad thing. Too much moisture can be a bad thing. It can cause high group fatigue. Too much heat can cause heat damage. So if you're using an excessive amount of heat tools, whether that's you blow drying your hair, flat ironing your hair, so often that's not, that's gonna, it's frying your hair out so of course it's not going to grow because you're not really creating a conducive or you know healthy environment for your hair to just be so like i would say honestly the key to hair growth and having successful hair growth and retaining the length of your hair is ultimately keeping your hair moisturized you know keeping your hair safe making sure that you are doing your due diligence by restoring the moisture in your hair whether that be through deep conditioning putting in creamy and moisturizing products just taking care of your hair and then also sealing in that moisture with an oil of your choice some naturals don't use oil i think kimberly sherell says she doesn't use oils on her hair i like to use oils on my personal on my hair um i don't think not even i don't think it just that's what works for me you figure out what works for you and what works for your natural hair and you just make it work um but i like to make sure that i seal in my moisture my um the moisture in my hair but it doesn't you know it, it's it's make sure you just moisturize your hair i just want y'all to moisturize your hair that's all i ask for you um as i'm taking out these twists i'm realizing this side looks a little different from this side i definitely use way less product on this side than this side because i thought I, I was putting too much on this side like i thought i was gonna weigh my hair down so um it feels a little bit different on this side because like i said i use less products so the ends look a little bit more drier but i also need a trim but this side feels literally amazing like the pudding the um twist and shout cream with the gel when i tell you my hair feels so good and then it's also just so soft and it's so manageable like this is fire like my hair feels so moisturized right now it doesn't feel heavy my hands don't feel like you know how sometimes you use products and your hands feel sticky or they feel really really oily when you're taking your hair out no like my hair feels amazing okay so these are my results as you all can see like look at how defined okay. so my hair is pretty defined it feels really 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 moisturized like it looks good it looks soft the hair did dry all of the way and i really just like how it looks let me give you all like a, a little 360. And now I'm going to use Curl's Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. Honestly, this is like an OG fave. This, like, literally gets my edges so nice and sleek. And it has a nice hold that doesn't flake for me. And it just keeps them in place. So it is a softer hold edge control. Um, but literally, my hair doesn't revert when I use it. And my hair, like I said, it doesn't flake. It's not sticky. It keeps my edges in place.
Y'all, I'm loving my hair because I literally don't even have to pick it. I want to put it on some type of, I want to do something else to it, like maybe a side part. Or no part, I kind of want to like disturb what the part was supposed to be, but not even like make it like a super side part either. All right, y'all, so you have reached the end of the video and I hope that my five reasons why your hair are not growing will inspire you to stop doing those very things so that your hair can flourish, okay? That's all I want for y'all for 2020, for the rest of y'all life, every single day, every month, is for your hair to flourish. And I understand having natural hair, is it, it's not high maintenance, but it does require a lot. It's a plant and you have to water plants, you have to feed and nourish plants, but it's also a part of you. So you have to feed and nourish yourself accordingly, you know, if you want to be healthy. So if you want healthy hair, you want to be healthy and you want to have a healthy routine in doing so. In regards to these products, y'all, I was really, honestly, I'm gonna say I was like blown away. This is my first time using these two products. I've used, um, like I said, I've used the shampoo before. I used that conditioner. I've used the edge control. The scalp treatment I haven't used before too, but I've always heard good things. And I've always seen people using these two products. And you know, it's always, it's different when you try something out yourself and really find out like, yeah, this really works. So honestly, the Twisted Shop Cream, it's fine alone. This is, it's, it could be fine by itself. I feel like the gel helped it, but it didn't, it was good all by itself. So I would definitely be reusing this. I'm also, I feel like this would be a really, really good product to use solely as like a base for a wash and go. So that's probably something I'll try out as a next wash and go combo just to see how my hair likes it but I love the consistency I love how creamy the product was and I love how moisturized it has left my hair feeling in regards to the gel I definitely think it was really helpful in getting the definition with my curls so I'll definitely be using this again for a twist out I'm not sure I haven't seen a well I have never used this gel for a wash and go it is a little bit on the lighter side um, for consistencies in regards to like how I like my gels but if this is something or even if these two products are something that you would like me to review um, doing a actual wash ago I would definitely do so but honestly that's all I have for you all thank you so much curls for sponsoring this video thank you all so much for tuning in be sure to catch me in the next one be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video